Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor Battlefield today and this is uh, part of a Rise of Mordor tournament that's taking part at the moment on the Rise of Mordor submod uh, Discord and I was involved in it, uh, I don't have my replay for you but I did in fact get knocked out in the first round in a very very close battle between myself and uh, another member on the Discord there. Um, I was playing as Dol Amroth and yeah it went fairly well, like I said it was very close but in the end it came down to my general just dying at the last moment but we have another video for you another replay for you here and this is Erebor against Dale so the old alliance of Dale and the dwarves is over and it seems that it is only blood and glory for these two sides that is the uh, result of this alliance so we'll quickly have a look at some of the units that these uh, guys are bringing since this is a tournament I think the uh, budget was 16,500 so you can got a fair amount you can bring a fairly decent army with that so we've got a lot of uh, Erebor iron guards um, for swords they're pretty cheap and they're fairly strong um, the dwarves don't have any cavalry but they do have escort mercenaries which I'm pretty sure are just Dalian men so we have some uh, traitors of Dale uh, joining the dwarves we also have uh, Erebor axe warriors we have some grim hammers we also have Spear guards of Erebor. We have us the usual sort of units that coming you bring as the dwarves. They don't have a large roster, but it's a goddamn good roster. These units are all very hardy. Um, we also have some crossbows, of course, and that's kind of really about it. So we'll go to normal speed, and uh, while these two armies set up, um, I think the rules are that both sides need to attack. You can't just sit back and defend. And that's really about it. I think there's a cavalry limit as well, but neither side's really got any close to that. Actually, no. Dale might have got close to the cavalry limit. They have brought four units of cavalry, which is the limit. Um, but yeah, so have a quick look. They've brought some Vinland uh, yard patrollers. These guys are pretty good. We don't see Dale often on the uh, on the channel. They look pretty good. I'm pretty sure they share this unit with um, Ravanian. Oh, no, is it Ravanian? I can't remember. Well, uh, Dorwinian. That Dorwinian. That's it. Rav they're from the same part of the world. Um, but yes. Then we've got some Dalian swordsmen here. These guys are goddamn awesome as well. Look at them. Beautiful. I love their shields. Um, so they've got a long line of Dalian swordsmen. They also have some more on the flanks. It seems Dalian spear guards, which are basically just look the same as the swordsmen, just with spears. But they look very sexy. I do like Dale. Oh, look, like just look at that chest plate. I'll just get a bit closer. Look at that chest plate. That is amazing. Look, the detail that they put in. Um, and actually, look at that officer as well. What a whack helmet he's got. That is a very strange helmet. Um, but yes, then we also got a Dale Carry Regiment, which is very similar. <laughs> Dale's got very similar uh, armor. They don't, well, they don't uh, go unique, do they? They just all the same. But it looks brilliant. I love their armor. It does look amazing. And then that's kind of it, really. That's all they brought. I mean, I don't think. Oh, and the Ravanian regents. Their general is a Ravanian region. Okay. Ever so slightly different. Oh. Won't find it hard to find the general in bright gold here. I mean, making himself a nice little target. But they do look pretty awesome as well. They almost remind me of, like, um, Greeks a bit. Like, with the, s the shape of the shield and the spear. Yes, yeah, so they are slowly getting into position. It looks like the first tactic that the dwarves are going to do is put their cavalry well out on the flanks. Um, just kind of like, it will pin Dale in a little bit. I mean, it could pin Dale in, I'm saying this. But I mean, Dale has a lot of cavalry, so in the cavalry fight, he should win that because he outnumbers them. And these escort mercenaries, uh, they're actually heavy cavalry. Wow. Surprise. Being called escort. But I mean... I think the dwarves will win the infantry fight, but it will then come down to Dale on uh, whether it can win the cavalry fight and then use the cavalry to win the infantry fight. And he's going to need to use his archers really well and just kill as many dwarves as he can. But it looks like they're already firing those Yard Patrollers. Here they are. Loose! And they're firing a few shots off, telling the dwarves uh, to keep, their, keep them at bay. So it looks like he's focusing down the Erebor Iron Guards. Strangely, uh, Erebor's not decided to bring any pikes. I mean, Dale could have as well, but I don't know. Actually, it's probably best not to. They're just going to be nice, the, a nice target. Um, because I was against, um, going back to my match quickly, I think I was against uh, I, I was against Isengard, so it was a pretty tough one, and he did bring pikes, and they were uh, late game, very, very hard to break, and in the end, they probably decided that battle. 
Um, but if you guys are enjoying um, the Rise of Mordor content on the channel at the moment and you want to see more, then please do leave a like and subscribe and a comment. Uh, as well if you would like just to let me know about your appreciation if you want to see more of this sort of stuff um, And if you want to join the discord down below and get involved in some rise of mortal battles, then the link is in the description Always welcome to have more legionnaires join the discord and it, I just love the glorious isn't it glorious line of Dale swordsman. I can't wait till the lines of infantry cra uh, clash it should be happening soon. I think Dale needs to move forward more, really. He's kind of sitting back a little bit. All those fire that the Erebor crossbows are getting, they've not actually taken a single casualty yet. And here we go. It looks like there's going to be a cavalry charge. Possibly. No. It doesn't look like it. Both sides just eyeing each other up, shaping up to see who's going to make the first move. A good target to aim at here, actually, is these Erebor Axe Warriors. They'll be pretty good to aim at. Um, or any Grim Hammers that are in range, but they are staying well back. The Dwarves, I mean, man, they just... You're gonna see a lot of, uh... A lot of kills from these guys. They're just nasty. And they are hard to kill, like... You gotta put a lot of arrows into them just to get a few kills. Like, none of these guys are even bloodied up. There you go, another volley just wasted. These guys have barely been hit. You gotta get the, you gotta wait until you, if you're gonna shoot uh, the dwarves, you gotta shoot them like in the back almost. Oh, there's getting a few hits here. Oh yeah, you need to get angles. So like, the, you need to shoot them on the side here because they're getting a few kills. He's getting a bit of success now. He's got a few. He's actually got the first blood. The dwarves lost about five men, and here we go. The first clash of infantry looks like it's about to happen. He's certainly getting very very close. Uh, here we go, first clash. Excellent. And here we go, the small men. Oh, the dwarves has taken names already. This is nasty. This is, uh, yeah, not pleasant. It looks like, oh, and we've got the cavalry fight out here now as well. So, interesting to see who wins this. Escort mercenaries doing okay. If I was the dwarves, I would have sent my shock infantry up to possibly support my cavalry since he doesn't have the numbers. But he looks like he's going to send his shock infantry into the center to be a reserve. Uh, it looks like the Dale is going to probably take out that other cavalry unit in a moment. Um, he is sending spears in to go and help. That's really, really good. He's got arch support here as well. So, interesting to see who wins this. I mean, the infantry fight looks it's going just perfectly well. I mean, it looks like Erebor's... He's got a unit here of Erebor uh, Iron Guards that are just going to engage this unit. And he's going to surround this other unit of uh, Dalian Swords here. So that's going to be huge. These guys should do okay, these Iron Guards. But it's going to really come down to the Axe Warriors. These guys are just... This is the elite stuff that you bring into the fight. Be really cool uh, if you like they bring in like the goat warriors that the uh, that um, Erebor can like get like you see in the movies you see the goats. Be good if you could, they could put them in as cavalry, something unique. Obviously, it'd be good if they could also get uh, wags in for like the evil factions, but who knows? These Erebor crossbows will actually probably hold okay against cavalry as long as they're not like in the initial charge. Again, the spears here, which should do okay. Dale is sort of being contained on this flank with his cavalry. This side, not so much. And he has got his general in here. Interesting. And there's a spear unit now in here. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look good for, for Dale on the flank here either. His spears are getting surrounded. They're losing decisively. Oh my gosh. These guys are just like... Dale is getting ripped apart here. He's got to do something and something soon like this cavalry soon got to win but it doesn't look like it's doing okay here this one's breaking um his cavalry is losing here though um well not his cavalry uh, De Erebor's cavalry is losing here I mean and so is Dale's he's having to pull that out and he's gonna probably lost a lot of men from that oh he's lost a fair few yeah about 20 of men lost this unit here this daily and swordsman unit is dying off very quickly as well <laughs> Look at him, he's just getting stabbed. Poor man. 
Oh. Stabbed with a little a little sword. This is really good by the Dale, though. He's now focusing into the back of these Aerobot Iron Guards. No, it's what you need to keep doing. You need to keep just focusing down. The cavalry, yeah, it's great to kill them, but the it's going to be his infantry. You've got to get enough of his infantry. Your infantry's got to hold while you focus it down with archers, but he has got there. He's got... He's reached the archers, and now these two units have been freed up because they've broken this unit here. And this is going to cause problems, because now he can just go down the line and surround them. And he's won over here on this flank against the cavalry. It's not looking good for Dale. Who's now uh, route... Well, he's going to route this uh, Vinland Yard Patrol. So you probably should move these other ones. Get them set up ready to in a firing line against his cavalry. But they're really getting focused down now by uh, crossbows of their own. Loose! They're firing into that big old blob over there. They're trying to take out the uh, Dwarven General. Not a bad idea. See if there's another volley that comes in from the uh, crossbows. Uh, sort of. It's beautiful to watch. Oh, look at this. Like a little old fight going out here. Oh, and he's just got a kill. Nice one, Dwarf. Just killed an officer off. And they've had enough. The enemy general is dead. Oh, no. Dale's lost the general. That is probably going to seal the fate for Dale. The Ravanian regents are breaking. Yep, that's all the cavalry gone for Dale. What he's really, his only advantage is really gone now. And look at this massive flank. This is going to be a huge problem. And now the Yard Patrols are breaking. They just got broken by a crossbow sh fire and some cavalry. And it's going to come down to the infantry line here. These Iron Guards, I'm just impressed they held so long. And didn't lose that many men. Because they're not, they're not great. They're probably the weakest unit the Dwarves can bring. In their roster. That's, that's melee. But you know they're pretty. They're doing okay. They're holding their own. And here we go. More Grim Hammers joining the fight. Look how bloodied up they are though. Jeez. Dale is getting pushed back. And the cavalry is just mopping up everything back here. And there we go. More Yard Patrols about to break. Or breaking. They're just repositioning while they get being chopped down by cavalry. And this is the real this is the real problem here. This is real well, ev everywhere's problems now. Dale, if you look at the balance power, is uh, outmatched three to one. And he's uh, not got the better infantry now. Just watching the uh, infantry clash, I don't even need to say anything, it's just very, so satisfying. I think the tide of battle turned in uh, the Dwarven favour a long time ago, but here we go, another uh, charge surrounding these uh, Dalian swords with more iron guards. The Dwarves seem to be everywhere, even with their little feet, they seem to be tracking uh, a lot of ground, but then Dwarves are, Dwarves are natural sprinters. As Gimli would tell you. This is a, a sea of dwarves. With their glorious Erebor armor. And there we go. That's, that's Dale breaking there. That's another unit breaking. They've finally given in. 62 men breaking. That's... What a general duty. This is one's 95 breaking. Jeez, and there we go, chain route. And this is the final unit. And they're getting surrounded by cavalry now, and they just break. Just like that. And there you go, guys. A decisive victory for the dwarves. And uh, the dwarven player will move on to the next round of the tournament, I imagine. Well, I don't imagine here. I know he will with that. Uh, so, uh, Wizlet there. A uh, Wizlet? Wizlet? I don't know. Wizlet, we'll call it. Um, beat Arthur 59. Um, so let's see, let's just see what did really well. I mean, 140 kills for his Erebor Axe Warriors, 264 for his Escort Mercenaries. They did insane. Uh, his Archers did okay, actually. Crossbow's getting it to uh, 127 kills. And his Grim Hammer's always doing well. Grim Hammer's always do well, 174. And his uh, Erebor Iron Guard's getting 121. That's not too bad. Um, Dale, well, his infantry just got outmatched. The best one getting 63 kills. It's not awful, but... 
in comparison to some of those, that's just not the same, is it? Is uh, Archer's getting fi- uh, 46, sorry, as the best, and his cavalry getting 52 as their best, really. So he was kind of outmatched, and it's a bit of a shame. But the old alliance between D- Dale and Erebor died on this battlefield today. So, big, big F in the chat for that. Um, but anyway, Legionnaires, if you enjoyed this battle, then please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And leave a comment if you want to see more Rise of Mordor uh, content and if there's any uh, Lord of the Rings scenarios that you want me to try and recreate on the uh, channel, then I will do my best to do, uh, well, recreate them for you. Um, But anyway, Legionnaires, until next time, bye for now.